Uh, hi, I'm the Reverend Dr. Donnie Anderson, uh, Executive Minister of the Rhode Island State Council of Churches. And Donnie, this is a story about you and Debbie um, dealing with your transition into a trans woman. So I am wondering how that is working for you. Well, it's an evolving process. I have learned an awful lot about myself since, first of all, sharing this news in August of 2017, and then really transitioning in the, spring, in the June of 2018, and now to move forward uh, really three months and almost going on to four months, living fully as a woman in work, and I'm learning more about myself, and we're learning more about each other, trying to figure this out and figure out what our relationship's about. Mm -hmm. Why was it important for you to keep the relationship intact? Well, we, we are two people who care about each other, and care about each other deeply, and respect each other. And it was important to both of us to honor our own individual selves. Deb had the courage to be able to say, I realize that there's something about you that I didn't know, but you're still the same person, and I appreciate that, and I respect her so much for having the courage to do that. It would have just been easy to say, I don't want anything to do with this, and yet she's really tried to figure that out. And so we're on a journey together. We wanted to ask you about some of the difficulties, and in particular, the bathroom issue, as you were talking before about going to Massachusetts, where there was a ballot question that could have been very harmful and very complicating for people who are transgender. It would have made it illegal for me to use a woman's bathroom, but to go into a men's bathroom like this would have been really unsafe. And the polling was very unclear, and there were some really horrible ads running that the folks who were involved in this knew were very, very effective. And so I was deeply concerned that this issue really might change in Massachusetts. And because I spend a lot of time in Massachusetts, I would have had to make that decision. And it did make me fearful. And there are places in this country where I really think twice about whether I will or will not go because of that very issue about how people might treat me. For me, I think one of the most important messages people need to know about transition is that transition does not equate to surgery. Some people who transition do use surgery or hormones or work with their voice or change their attire, but transition is about living authentically who you are and it may have nothing to do with surgery. I know someone who transitioned 20 years ago. They've never taken a hormone. They've never had any surgery and don't ever plan to, and yet they fully transitioned into a transgender woman. And that's great. Each of us are individuals, and we really, really need to be able to honor that and not superimpose a set idea about what transition is. It's about living authentically who you are. And it may or may not involve surgery. That's not the question. What would have happened if you did not transition? I came to a point in my life where I needed to do something. I just couldn't keep going the way I was going. And had I not, I don't know what would have happened to me if I had not transitioned. I mean, what I do know is that the people who attempt suicide because they can't deal with this in the transgender community is 10 times more than the general population. I never got to that point because I love my life, I love my family, and I, I just decided I'm going to take the risk and do this. But I don't, I, I don't it wouldn't have been good. It, it wouldn't have been good. For me, as a faith leader, I think it's really, really important that people understand that they don't have to be confronted with the false choice of being authentically who you are or being a person of faith. That you can be both. You can be authentically who you are and you can be a person of faith. And for me, that is such an important message because so many people have received a different message. And I want them to understand they don't have to make that false choice.